Hello, Penny. What can I do for you? I've decided maybe I should start lowering my sights on the employment front. Well, there's a lot of competition nowadays, an awful lot of people out there looking for work. Mm, most of them better qualified than me, no doubt. Well, you do rather lack experience. I mean, of a proper job. Oh, you know what I mean. Exactly. So I'm going to get out there and get some experience. If I lower my expectations a little, I'm sure I'll get some sort of work. Of course you will. <sighs> Thirsty work, that, you know. Be melts like the bottom of a budgie's cage. Sorry, our kettle's out of commission. I think it's the fuse. Better get ping on to it, then. Better get on, then. Anyway, I've decided to take a trip down to the job centre. Good for you. Well, Margaret's always going down there, so I thought I'd tag along. I'm sure she won't mind. Well, if she's busy, I can always take you. Well, as soon as David gets back. He wouldn't mind? No, not at all. It'll be an experience for me. I shall look forward to it. See you later, then. <laughs> OK, bye. What's she doing going down the job centre? What do you think? Who would have thought, eh? A woman like that. I thought she would have been all right for a few, Bob. How much do I owe you? For the windows? Oh, three quid, please. See the trading post still shut, eh? Well, obviously Ron and Dee Dee felt they needed a bit of time to themselves. I wonder what's happened to Jackie Corkill? Well, obviously she's taken it pretty badly as well. Yeah, I suppose after all the work that Jimmy did on little Tony's appeal, they must be gutted the pair of them. Well, you put in a lot of hard work on Tony's fund. Yeah, well... Well, at least some good will come out of that fun money. Well, I expect Ron and Dee Dee will want to donate it to another worthwhile cause. Yeah, I suppose so. Ron, you'll dress a second. Yeah, sure. Hello. Come on, mate. <coughs> hey. <coughs> How are you doing, my son? Hey. They grow up so quickly, don't they, eh? I can remember looking down like this on our Tony. Fourteen years ago. Seems like yesterday. He was my son for 14 years. I felt like two minutes. You can't turn the clock back, Ron. No one can. You've just got to carry on, and things will get easier. They will. Our Josh needs you. So do I. Yeah. I don't know. Here you go, son. Listen, do you think it's a good idea you going to the shop today? Well, it's like you said, I've got to carry on, haven't I? I know that, but well, do you think you're ready, yeah? Everyone passing on their sympathies and regrets and that. Got to face it sometime, love. Yeah, but not today, eh? Give yourself some time. Why don't you go and see Dee Dee? Sort out the funeral arrangements. Yeah, I suppose I'd better add. Can't leave her to do everything on her own. I'm sure she'd appreciate it, Ronan. Well, might help the two of you. You know, being together at a time like this. Might help you make sense of things. Yeah, you're right. Who'd have thought it, eh? The last thing me and Dee Dee are going to do together as a couple is bury our son. Yeah, all right. We can go this afternoon if you want. Great. So, what's it like there? I suppose there's plenty of jobs to choose from. <laughs> Not exactly. Oh, I'm sure someone who's willing and keen to work shouldn't have any problem finding a job down there. Yeah. Um, well, have you any idea what you're looking for? Well, I don't know, really, but um, I hope to get something semi-decent. Well, I won't build your hopes up too much. Half-decent jobs are pretty thin on the ground round here. That's why I'm looking at all this stuff. Further education? I don't want to put you off, but I was getting a bit sick of going down the job centre and coming back empty-handed. So you've decided to get a few more qualifications? Yeah, well, that's something to do, isn't it? A lot of people don't take you seriously unless you are qualified. I can vouch for that. I'll get it. Oh, hi. Hi. Margaret's in the kitchen. Come on through. Thanks. Hi. Hi. I'll leave you two to it. Thanks. No colours today. I've got a free period. I'm going to go in later. All right. What's all this? The shorts. It's not need to sound so surprised. Sorry, it's just you never said anything about going back to college. Yeah, well, sick of sitting around here all day doing nothing. 
What, are you going to finish off your nanny in course? No. No, I'll finish with that. I'm going to try something new. Broaden my horizons. Be more like you. What? I want to, um, you know, get educated, get some qualifications in that. Well, why all of a sudden? Cos... Cos I feel ignorant, I feel uneducated. I mean, at that party, talking to all those people, and last night at that lecture, I didn't understand a word of it. Well, that doesn't mean you're ignorant, it just means... Well, I don't know, that it's not your subject. I don't even know if I've even got a subject. I just... I feel left out. Well, it was one stupid lecture. You'd have to go and change because of that. I mean, you find the way you are. And I like it because you're you. You don't understand, do you? Going to lectures at the university, hanging around with people like Chris. I mean, it's just not me, none of it is. I don't feel right. I hate pretending. Yeah, and you don't have to pretend. Not with me. I like you the way you are. And I want you to stay that way. <laughs> In that song. <laughs> So, what's a sweet lawn about then? I've got some good news. I want everybody in the group to be there to hear it. What's happened? You'll just have to wait, Kate, like everybody else. Oh, go on, you're having a guessing now. All right, then, eh? Hey. Seeing as it's you, my favourite. Oh, go on, then. I've put an offer in for the house. Oh, brilliant. Of course, it means we're going to have to start chipping in a few more quid, but it'll be worth it to get our own place, our own church. Oh, well, it's going to be great. All right. Aye, on. Yeah, not a word to anyone, the way. I don't want to spoil a surprise, do I? No way. I'll see you later. See you. See you. Any chance of putting the kettle on there? Do you need a brew? Well, it's for me buckets. It's freezing out there. You know, my hands are going to drop off. If you want to throw a tea bag in? Seeing my dad's in the shop. Hey, it's closed, there's no one there. Oh, he must be with me, Mum. Come to the chapel rest to see your Tony. Jackie, don't cry. Oh, I can't help it. It's all right. It's all right, come here. Yeah, this will get your blood flowing again. Sure. Hey, look at that. It's in times like these you need your busy, mate. Sorry, didn't mean to disturb you. Didn't. So how are you feeling? Like I've lost a son. Yeah. Listen, I don't know if this is the right place, but I thought we should talk through the arrangements. I've already spoken to Father Grease about the math. Yeah, well, you know that I'm happy for you to have any sort of service you want. I know how much it means to you. Is there anything I can help with? You know, sort out the undertakers. There must be something I can do. I already know about him coming home. You yeah, what? You mean you want to bring our Tony home? For a couple of days next week before the funeral, to pay our respects. Are they D in the house? What about Michael and Jacqueline? Tony was their brother, and he was your son. It's going to be the last time we're going to be as a family together. I want you to be there, Ron. For the kids. For all the kids. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Look, there is one more thing. Um, it was all right with you. I'd like to ask Jimmy to be a coffin bearer. You know, with all he did for our Tony. Of course. You're all right. Sorry. It's just every time I think about what's happened. You're bound to be upset. I know that. But I just feel so confused. All these bad things keep happening. Oh, Tony. I think when my dad's splitting up. Even me and you falling out. Why is it all happening to me, eh? What have I done to deserve it? Nothing. You've done nothing. You don't deserve any of it. And I'm really sorry, you know, about you and me falling out and that. I never wanted that to happen. Me neither. So, 
So, can we be mates again? Of course we can. Best mates. Um, you will come to the funeral? Of course I will. What's going on? It's all right, Wendy. Get out! I rang the bell. You mustn't have heard me. Get out before I phone the police. Oh, you won't do that. You can't do that. I'll scream. And let the neighbours know you're a thief. I just want what's mine. Just a bit of interest on the money I lent Trevor. But I've given you everything. Oh, no, you haven't. I overheard your friend. Two grand you've got in that fund. Thanks, Mandy. No! Don't! Stupid bloody woman! It's not even your money! No wonder Trevor raised his hand to you. You test any man's patience. Tell me where it is, Mandy, or else I'll pull this shoebox to pieces. Thank you. Trevor was right. You enjoy it, don't you? You like it a bit rough. It's some sort of game to you. You evil bitch. That's your little game. What's going on here? He's taking the money. You thieving get. It's a pity we couldn't have been neighbours after all. <sighs> Goodbye, Monday. Are you all right? Oh, my head. Oh, what is he? It's gone. He's taken the money. Oh, no. I'm sorry, I tried to stop him. Uh, what's all this stuff? What were you doing, man? <sighs> Quite what I expected. What do you mean? Well, I thought there'd be a bit more on offer. Oh, there is sometimes. You've just got to be lucky, you know, get down there on the right day. I say, Ben, this one is interesting. Well, still... um, you're not meant to take the cards off the boards. Oh, sorry. Cheers, oh, love. I don't think you're supposed to take it off the board. Is that right, yeah? Charming. Oh, there's a cleaning job here. Me, a cleaner. Well, it's very good money. It's thirty pounds a day. Um, a week. Oh, sorry, it is. Uh, how about this one, market research? Oh, that sounds more like it. Where's it based? I don't go to the desk and ask. Yes, I think I will. Um, uh, excuse me. Um, Penny. Um, that's the cue. Oh, I do beg your pardon. <coughs> how are you feeling? A bit groggy, like. These will help. Oh, sir. I am. Um, I'd better get this place cleared up before Rachel gets home. Just a minute, eh, man? What? So come and sit down. I just want to know what happened. Well, you saw what happened. No, before I came in. What was all that mess on the floor? What do you mean? Well, the cutlery in there. He was pulling me. I grabbed a drawer. It came out of the unit. The things went everywhere. Well, what were you doing? What were you after? It was just a cutlery drawer. I didn't know what else to do. He was hitting me. Oh, God. Were you going for a knife like last time? 
Would you? Could you have used it? I don't know. I really don't know. Do I scare you? I don't know. Maybe it is me. Maybe I'm the one who's bad. That's what Trevor used to say. No, you're not bad. That get put you through years of hell. You were just protecting the girls. And what about today? Hiya. Sorry I'm late. Hiya. Where have you been? Praying. For what? For a lost soul, Kate. For someone who strayed from the path. Who? For you, Kate. I saw you with your friend. You betrayed me. OK, everyone. How'd you get on? I've got myself a job. <laughs> really? They did it all over the phone. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, well done. When did you start? <coughs> Monday. So soon? Where's the office? Well, it's not exactly office-based. I thought it was market research. It is, but... Uh, I'll be in what they call the front line. Sorry? You know, in the field, so to speak. I'm doing questionnaires in the street. Well, it's a start, isn't it? Who is he? It's Ron. Don't let him in, Jack, please. You see me? I can't face him, please. Get out the back right there. I'll try and get rid of him. Explain about me and Jackie. Go on then. She's dead upset and sad about dear Tony. He and the family have had loads of bad luck. And why do you think that is? Well, I don't know. She doesn't deserve it. It was her who tried to come between me and you, remember, Kate? She's against us, and she's against God. That's why Jackie's brother died. She tried to stop us from doing God's work. Now do you understand? But they shouldn't do anything like that on purpose, though. She's dead nice. She's working against us, Kate. I don't want you to go near her again. She's not a real friend. But what about their Tony's funeral? I promised that I'd go. And pray in another church. This is your church here. But she's my friend. I can't let her down. I want to help her. She's your enemy, Kate. She's our enemy. And I forbid you to go to that funeral. What will you tell Ron? God knows. I'll have to think of something quick. Sorry. Yeah. I've been so stupid. Letting a stranger into my house, giving that money away like that. I've really landed you, really, haven't I? It's not your fault. It is, and it's about time I stopped relying on you and started to take control of my life. You what? Look at me, I'm shaking. I'm a wreck, I'm a nervous wreck. You've just been attacked. I'm like this all the time, and I just can't take any more. Well, what are you going to do? We're about to lose the house. There's a body in the garden, and I need to find £2,000. It's only a matter of time before they come to throw me in prison. There's only one thing left. I run away with the girls. I get away from this place forever. I just feel as if I was never there for him. Feel as if I never even knew him properly. My own son, my own flesh and blood. And I couldn't even manage to be there for him in the end. He was in the hospital dying and I couldn't be there for him. What sort of a father am I, Jack? Come on, Ron. You mustn't blame yourself. 
Why not? I'm the one that let him down, aren't I? You're not the one to blame. It wasn't your fault. How do you mean? Well, the accident. Somebody else caused that, didn't they? Yeah. And what I wouldn't give to get my hands on them now. I'm sorry, Jack. Look, love, I better be going. Bev will be wondering what happened to me. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, yeah. And, um, thanks for listening, eh? Any time. It's a shame I missed you, Jimmy. I wanted to ask him a favour. Him? Yeah, I couldn't pass a message on to him. Yeah, well, you know, you know how good he was to our Tony. How much he did for him. Well, for me and Dee Dee, uh, well, we'd like him to be one of the coffin bearers. Well, uh, I'll ask him, Ron, you know, but he might be too upset. Yeah, well, I hope he will. Especially after all he did for him. any longer. I'm giving myself up. I'm going the police. Drama with the Chief on ITV shortly. Here on four extravagant tropical gardens from India in a couple of minutes in Nature Perfected. Mara. I could say that. Look at you. I'm looking forward to your new job. I don't know if I was to say that, but uh, oh, well, good luck with it. Thanks. Charlie and Maria.
looks peaceful, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the card. Oh, yeah, hundreds. Of course not. Yes, well, don't. And I'm sorry for being so grumpy this past few days. And I promise not to go on about Chris anymore. We we'll love our off days, don't we? Well, how about letting me apologise properly by cooking you a Valentine's meal? <laughs> You've not tasted me cooking yet. <laughs> yeah, but just the two of us. Of course. Well, what time shall I come round? I'll see you then. Bye bye. Hi. You're up early this morning. Mm. Well, I thought you'd have had a lie now you're on holidays. I have things to do. Well, where have you been? Out. Mum, what's up? Nothing. Everything. Mum, what's the matter? <sighs> where have you been? Lime Street Station. Well, what for? To buy these. <sighs> Booked on the 4.45 train. I'm sorry, we're leaving tonight. <sighs> Jimmy, the milk! Oh. 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 It's all right. Oh, I can't give me strength. You're a good crane who has spilt milk. I'm just a bloody coward. What? A coward! I should have gone to the police. No, you shouldn't. But I'm too bloody scared. I can't even look at myself in the mirror. Uh, Don't you, oh, I'm going to carry that coffin, Jack. With that dead lad inside. Please don't make me do it, Jack. Please. Nothing for us, mate. No, nothing at all, mate. Sure. Sorry. Hiya. All right. What's that face for? Oh, nothing. My dad never got a Valentine's card. Ah, oh, didn't he? Oh, it's like we would turn up tomorrow. Oh, I yeah. Did you get any, Carol? Don't be nosy. That means no, son. She didn't even get one. <sighs> Afraid not. Looks like we're both in the same boat, eh? Yeah. Maybe it's time to give this place a new name. What, like? The Reject Shop. <laughs> yeah. You all right? Why don't you come in, eh? Look at him. No, I can't. He looks all right. Honest. He isn't there anymore. That in there. It's just a corpse. I'll do it for me, Mum, then. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you, but I wonder if sorry, you... Sorry, my love. I haven't got time. Sorry. 
Oh, good morning. I'm sorry to bother you, but I wonder if you'd mind answering a few I'm questions. Sorry, I don't. Oh, good morning. Um, I'm sorry to bother you, but I wonder if you'd mind. Rachel, it's me. Where have you been? I need a hand sorting out what we're taking with us. She's been looking for me to see if I can talk some sense into you. Well, she's wasting her time and yours. And what good's running away going to do you? Well, a damn sight more than staying put. We can't just disappear. So you keep saying. And she's right. Why not? Why can't we just disappear? Because you've got a life here. No, I'd get life if I stayed here. And what about the girls? I'm doing this for the girls. You've got that education to think of. Well, Rachel's not happy at school. It's written all over her face. And, and this one's more than capable of waltzing into another university somewhere. Oh, yeah, just like that. No, but... Look, we've lost the house. What else can we do? Stay. We'll have another go at moving Trevor or leave him there. I don't know. Says anyone's going to find him anyway. Fine. And in the meantime, being charged with fraud should keep me busy. What do you mean? Come on, tell her. You know that Roy character who's been hanging around? Yeah. yeah well, you had to go at your mum. And he pinched all the appeal money we collected for Tony. Well, we can just go to the police then. Well, he didn't exactly pinch it all. I gave him some of it. Oh, God. So there's another reason to just disappear. Yeah. And leave me to tell Ron what happened to his lad's appeal money. Well, don't tell him, then. What? Come with us. Are you serious? Look, I don't care what you two do. I'm going nowhere. No, I'm sorry, love, but the only way we're going to survive this bloody mess is to stick together. You've got to come with us. Look, um... i better get off. I need time to think. OK. The train leaves at quarter to five. Time to explain it all. Just be a good girl and get your stuff packed, hey? I don't want to go to London. Well, we've got to. But why? Oh, we'll take on the train. Go on. Thanks. What are we going to tell her? About the fund and losing the house. That's enough. You made the right decision. Well, you didn't give me much chance to make any decision, did you? Sorry. <sighs> Look. You know I can't let you go without me. But I still think this is wrong. I'm sorry, love. It's the only way. Oh, no. Hiya. Um, have a call just a bad time? No. Come in, love. Thanks. Hi, Jack. Hi, uh, I, I went to the flat, but uh, Bev said she'd be here. Yeah, we're just sorting everything out for, for, for tomorrow, you know. Yeah, um, well, that's why I've come, really. Um, it's Jim, he's in a terrible state. I don't know if he's going to be able to carry the coffin. He spent all morning crying his arse out. If he can't do it, then he can't do it. It's just um, the way he's been today, you know. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to make the funeral at all. Yeah, well, doesn't matter. We've all got to get through this the best way we can. Not tell Jimmy not to worry. Eh? Whatever he does is fine by me. 
Why? Why is my brother lying dead in that box? Why, hey? It's not bloody fair. Well, taxi should be here in a minute. I wish somebody would tell me what's going on. I'll be Sinbad. Is he coming with us? Oh, yeah. No bags? No. Why not? I can't live the rest of my life on the run. No. You shouldn't have to. You playing your song? I'll get the girls. Do you want to hand with the bags? Helpful to the last. That's me. Thanks. Tell her to take care of yourself, OK? Well, next time I see you, you'll probably have letters after your name. shopping in your household. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Well, that's it really, except to say thank you very much for your time. You're only the third person I've managed to... I don't want Jessica, stop it. That's naughty. Thank you. Oh, I am sorry. Yeah, I don't matter. I'm Miss Lee. Oh, I'll ask Karen. Oh, you're not going to tell Miss Lee? Oh, no, that's all right. Thank Hi, Mark. Have you seen Beth? Why, what's up? Um, nothing. She was meant to be coming to ours for tea, but I've just knocked at theirs and there's no one in. Well, uh, my mum's in town and, um, I think she said she was going to go see one of her mates. Oh, which mate? Uh, oh, someone from college, she said. All right. Um, thanks. See ya. All right. It's Mrs. Joe Dash's friend, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just on my way round there, actually. Well, there's no one in at the moment. Oh, God, I knew I should have run first. Are you up for curtains already, are you? No, not exactly. I've got a bit of bad news for her. Well, like I say, there's no one in. See, the thing is, you know the house next door, number nine? Well, whoever goes up to us on it has pulled out, so... Well, it has got that lovely conservatory, hasn't it? What are you saying? I'm afraid we've let your friend down a bit. I'm not going to buy her house after all. Brilliant. Is it? Two bloody dice. Have you got the time? Uh, yeah. Uh, nearly half four. Cheers. Grab to the station, please, wait. You're right. I've told you. 
He understands. Yeah, thanks, love. Make some tea, eh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hello, reject shop? <laughs> no, no, sorry, mate, this is a pizza bar. What did I do for you? One Louisiana special, right. And the address? Okay, mate, that'll be about uh, 20 minutes, okay? All right, bye now. All goes today, is it? Yeah, no, no. Hey, come on, son. I thought you were playing upstairs with Jenna. When are we having our tea? Soon. Can't we have pancakes? Well, not until tomorrow. All right, why not? Because there's no such thing as Pancake Monday. Are you having pancakes, Carol? Oh, are you? Yeah. I make the best pancakes in the room, mate. Do you? Yeah, she does. Now, upstairs, please. Hey, Dad. What? You sure the postman never brought you nothing? Yeah, I'm sure. Why? OK. What brought that on? Hey, Uncle. I think there might have been a third post today. You know these are for you? Valentine's Day. Sorry, my hands are too numb to get my keys out. It's all right. Oh, I think I've got hypothermia. How did it go? Oh, it was a bloody disaster. Really? Suffice it to say, I'm back in one of the mass ranks of the unemployed. Hmm, something smells good. Gin chili. Lovely. Just what the doctor ordered. Dish it up then. To buy the house next door, so you don't have to go anywhere. Since when? Well, does it matter? Just get off the train. I can't. I've made my mind that we're going. Well, you don't have to now. No, it's only a matter of time before someone else puts an offering on the house. So what do you about that when it happens? Yeah, and what about the appeal money? Well, I don't know. We'll think of something. Just get off the train, please. Oh, sadness. What, what Look, are you doing? Come on, we've been through too much together for it to end like this. Now, come on, you're going home. Are these yours? 
Beth, Rachel, come on, we're going home. Come on, hurry up. You can't do this. I can't, I'm doing it. Come on, hurry up, it's going. We're going home, come on, Rach. Ready. Somebody, you don't know what you're doing. Mandy, jump. Wait a minute. Hi, Jack. Hi, Tony. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry, Dave. Came as soon as I could. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Um, I'm not now. Well, the cars will be going in a minute. My dad said you could get in with us if you want. I can't. You don't have to be all dressed up or anything. It's not that. I can't come. Why? I'd come if I could. It's a religious thing. Simon says it's against our principles. What? Coming to my brother's funerals against your principles. Well, he says we pray for him here. <sighs> Casey, stop Simon and his stupid religion. Come with us, eh? Come with a court. Got to get one. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm going for the biblical look, you know. What long are you here for? Just today. I, uh, I hitched a lift on the supply plane. I'm going back tonight. It's good to see you. <laughs> and you too. So, uh, how's life? Oh, probably a lot more boring than Bosnia. Are you working? I'm signing on. Oh, you look well. Look. I'm sorry about the way things ended up. It's okay. You're probably not going to enjoy me telling you this, but um, I missed you, you know? It's just that my work there, it's There you go. You've said all this in your letters, I understand. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> Look, I don't put a candle in the window every night thinking you're just going to turn up on the doorstep, you know? Good. Well, I'm glad you've moved on, though. Got to you. So, is there anybody else? Um, there has been. I don't think it's going to work out. Derek! Well, if it, if it doesn't, you know where I am. I think I'll have a quick sleep. I've got work later. Listen, Kate, I know you're upset. You're bound to be. Grief's never easy to deal with. But we'll help you through it. Like we did when your dad... I'm just saying that we'll always be here for you. Thank you. 
is due any minute. Right. <laughs> Thought I'd ordered my last cab from this house. Yeah, well, let's just be glad you haven't. Yeah, thanks to Rosie Banks. You won't be saying that when Ron Dixon asks where the appeal money is. Yeah, well, I'll just have to jump off that bridge when I come to it, won't I? <sighs> what are we going to do? I don't know. Just have to fob them off until I can think of something. Come on. Are you in college today? Uh, I might go in later. I've got a few things to sort out first. I'll see you after then. See you. Jimmy, I'm off, love. Hang on, Jack. I'm gonna be late. I'm coming with it. I've got to. I've got to do something. Don't do that, son. I put the customers off. Can't I come, Dad? Going to a funeral, so not a day at the fair, you know. Come on, Carol. Why do you have to wear black? Hey? Well, look soft wearing purple, wouldn't I? Oh. There you go, young man. Sir? It's for you, Dad. No time and all. Is it from Marianne? No, oh, I bet it had be. Let's have a look. What's it say? Hey, private. Do you think it's as good as the one I made you? Hey? Nah. No chance. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Yeah, I do. You OK? Yeah. I'm here for you. You know that, don't you? Of course I do. Me and little Josh. I don't know. Look, I better get over there. Right, me and you on the front then, eh, Derek? And, uh, well, Michael and one of the lads on the back. when you are. Oh, just hang on a sec, will you? Thanks for coming, mate. Yeah, uh, I had two of them. Jim, we're just taking them in, you know. I don't suppose you... Uh, yeah, I'll help you carry them in, Ron. trying to guess here on time. That's what. Oh, what kept her? I've been up to my elbows in puke all morning. Ugh. Oh, Gary, he's been throwing his horse up. Is he all right? Yeah. We had a Chinese last night. Bloody prawns. I'm sure he's allergic to them. Listen, I can stay if you want to go sit with him, you know. Now, you get off. He's in bed and he's got a bookers. Anyway, I need the money. I'm going to have to get a new pair of shoes now. You need eyes on the back of your head, don't you? Yeah. 
and someone to remind her who you're meant to be today. Mother, father, nursemaid. Yeah, I love the feeling. Your tie's crooked. <sighs> That's better. Right. Go on, you'll be late. Right, that's... to apologise for yesterday. I'm sorry I didn't turn up for the meal. Doesn't matter. I should have called around well, while you were probably busy. Sorry. Can I sit down? And they were bringing little children to him that he might touch them. And the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus, seeing it, was moved to indignation and said to them, Suffer the little children to come unto me. Hinder them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Amen, I say to you, whoever shall not receive the kingdom of God like a little child shall never enter it. So, did you cook a lot of food, then? You were with Chris, weren't you? No, I was with my mum. Well, what, was it some family problem? Yeah. Well, tell me about it. Look, I can't. Well, I might be able to help. You wouldn't want to know. There's nothing to know, is there? What, so, um, you call me a liar now? Well, thanks a lot. I thought you knew me better than that. Well, I better go. You're not the only one with someone else lurking in the background, you know. Margaret, I haven't got a saw Derek today. He's back for Tony's funeral. And? He's asked me to go to Bosnia with him. What, just like that? Yeah. Well, he's got a bit of a cheek, hasn't he? Why? Because you're not... Well, you, you can't, can you? Why not? At least he doesn't lie to me. And neither do I. But, um... I'll see you. Look, I was, I was probably, probably a lot of you know I'm not much of a man for prayers. So I'm very grateful to Father Heaton for giving me the chance to step up here and say a few words of my own about Tony. Don't know where to start, really. <laughs> I suppose I could tell you what a, what a good-natured, easy-going lad he is, was... Then you know that already, don't you? Must admit, though, I did, I did have high hopes for him at one stage. I used to think to myself, now there's someone I can leave me Patsy Klein records and me Everton scarf to. And what happened, eh? It turned out to be a red hot Liverpoolie and a Nintendo addict. But I didn't mind. I loved him too much for that. But we all did, didn't we? I mean, you've only got to look. How people have been since, well, since the accident, to see that. You know, all the collecting and coming to the church. And everybody's been brilliant. All the staff at the general and all the neighbours, the customers, everyone. And especially two local lads. A Simbad. 
who organized Tony's appeal fund. And Jimmy Corkill, who's been there with us every step of the way. A true friend. Uh, I'd also like to thank all the nursing staff. Oh, and um, we're going to donate all the money that we collected to the children's ward at the hospital, by the way. Well, that's about it, really. I know that I might have been the ideal father over the last couple of months of your life, son, but... But I'm sorry. Hey, that's me, Dads. You won't tell him I was having a nose, will you? Nah, it's rubbish anyway. No, it's not. It's nice. Romantic. It's not as good as those two. I know that. Did you make one for Marianne? Nah. Oh, why not? Don't know. Did you used to make them for your mum? Yeah. Did you miss her? Yeah. Do you think your dad misses her? Sometimes. What was she like? She was just like you, dead nice. Been out. Um, yeah, to the shop. What for? N nothing really. Eh, just fresh air. Don't lie to me. I'm not. I know where you've been. <sighs> then why'd you ask me? I told you not to go. You defied me. It was my mate's brother. I had to. You defied me. Has nothing we've said and done over the last few months meant anything to you? Yeah, of course it has. Then why didn't you listen to me? Why didn't you do as I asked? Or is this the real you? Defiant? A liar? That's not fair. Did you used to lie to your dad like this? <gasps> Don't bring me dad into it. Answer me. Did you lie to your dad? No. I didn't. Oh, but it's OK to lie to me. I don't matter. Nothing I believe in matters. It does, but... I baptised you. You belong to us. We're all responsible for each other. If one person strays, the rest suffer, and that's wrong. I haven't strayed. I don't know how you can do this to me, Kate. Do what? See, no hint of an apology. I am not apologising for going to a funeral. Just selfish defiance. Well, what do you want me to say? Sorry. Say you're sorry. Say it. I'm sorry, Simon. I'm sorry, Simon. I'm sorry, Simon. Say it. Say it. Say it. I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. Man that is born of a woman hath but a short time to live and is full of misery. He cometh up and is cut down like a flower. He fleeth as it were a shadow and never continueth in one stay. In the midst of life we are in death. Of whom may we seek for succor but of thee, O Lord? 
who for our sins are justly displeased. Forasmuch as it hath pleased Almighty God, of his great mercy, to take unto himself the soul of our dear brother here departed, we therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, My God. through our Lord God, Jesus Christ. Amen. My God. I can't. I can't. Come on, mate. No, don't help me. No one can help me. Jimmy, love. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Oh. Jackie, tell him. Tell him. You've got to tell him. Tell me what? It, nothing. Nothing? I killed your son. I killed your son. What? Me. I killed Tony. I was in the other car. The one that caused the crash. You? I was off my head. I was dunked up to the eyeballs. I didn't know what I was doing. You can't. No, son. I'm sorry. Help me. You might not know it. I'm sorry. Get him out of my sight. Leave me to bury my son. Where is he, Jack? I don't know. Run, please! Jimmy! Where is he? I don't know! Jimmy! with you. Right. I hate being lied to. Margaret? Um, I was wondering if I could pick your brain. Oh, well, there's there's not many to pick, but... Um... I could do with some advice. OK, I'll be in in a minute. OK. Nice to know I'm good for something. Why are you being like this? 
Like what? Stupid. Because that's what I am. Stupid dolite. Don't be, don't be what? Don't be this, don't be that. Oh, what exactly would you like me to be like, Beth? Like Chris? Some big intellectual, some big butch woman? No. Because I'm not. I'm just boring Margaret from boring Alden. You're wrong. God. Oh, I wish... I wish this had just never... Please don't say that. I've got to go in. Margaret, wait! Margaret! You're going to be late for college. Pick a card, any card. So you want to sign on, then? I don't know. I mean, I hadn't really given it much thought till David poked his nose in. Oh, that's where they've come from. Mm, my very own guardian angel. <sighs> well, he's only trying to help. The trouble is, I think I'm fast becoming his number one hobby. So what do you need me for? Well, to help me wade through this lot, really. I mean, how complicated is drawing benefit? <sighs> well, they ask you some stupid questions, get you to fill in some forms, that's about it. If any Clive could see me now, signing on the dill, it's totally broke. It's not that bad, you know. I'm sorry, it's just the thought of explaining who I am and how I got here to some total stranger. Well, I could come with you if you like. I don't know. Why not? I don't think I could face it. But you're entitled. That's not the point. Of course it is. We can go this afternoon if you want. What do you think? Yeah. It's a day out, isn't it? I suppose so. You must have some idea where he is. Honest to God, I haven't. Well, what happened after the funeral? I brought him home. I had a bath. When I come down, he'd gone. And if you did know where he was hiding, would you tell us? Well, probably not, no. The loyal wifey. Eh? If you do catch up with him, what are you going to do? I don't know, but I'll tell you something. If our Michael had his way, he'd be swinging from a lamppost now. But me, I want some answers first. I want to hear about it all. You already have. What, some mumbled crap about drugs and guilt? There's nothing else to know. Yes, there is. What sort of bloody drugs was he on? Pot, ecstasy, heroin. Cocaine. He was on cocaine. Has been for months. So my son's dead because of your fella's cocaine habit. Yeah. Yeah. The same fella that's been out there collecting for him. The same fella that's sat in that hospital crying with his arm round me, watching my son's life fade away. You just stood there and let him carry the coffin. What else could it do? How long have you known? About any of you. Came out in drips and traps. The drugs faced. Then the accident. How long, Jackie? About Tony. A month. And you couldn't have said anything to me? <laughs> like what? Like the truth! Don't I deserve the truth? I wanted to. Even Jimmy wanted to. Oh, don't be making excuses for him. But, but you didn't, did you? Hey? No. You just stood there and watched the family tear itself apart. He's my husband, Ron. What else could I do? Morning, boss. Dead on time as usual. Do my best. 
Been busy? Eh, uh, not bad, but hopefully there's gonna be a rush in about five minutes. Cheers, mate. Right, uh, I'm off into town. I'm gonna buy myself a new pair of shoes. Are you busy later? Eh, uh, not really, no. Why? I might need a favour. Fire away. It's Kate. Hi, what's up? Have you spoke to her much recently? No more than usual. I think she might be having a few problems. Yeah? Yeah, I'm a bit worried about her. Well, what sort of problems? Oh, I don't know. You see, she's clammed up on me. But I think she might be having a few doubts about her faith. Oh, right. It's nothing drastic. She just might need a bit of support over the next week or two. Oh, she's not thinking of packing the religion in, is she? Oh, no. Not while we're still there for her. So what's the favour, then? Could you look after her for a while? Eh, uh, well, how like? Mm, spend a bit of time with her. Well, I don't really know her all that well, you know. Yeah, no, but I do. And I know how much she thinks of you. Does she? You sell yourself short sometimes, Terry. Of course she does. She really looks up to you. Oh? Nobody was more chuffed than Kate when you joined our group. Nice to know I've got a fan. So you'll help us out, then? Yeah, if you want. Uh, is there anything in particular you want me to say to her? Look, we'll have a chat about it later, eh? You go and get your shoes. Yeah, all right, see you later. See you. Well, thanks. For what? Well, filling in the gaps. Now I can just get on with finding him. He's a sick man, Rob. No, oh, he's an addict, is he? Forget the drugs. I mean, up here, this has destroyed him. My heart pleads. Yeah, well, yours mightn't, but mine does. Yeah, you expect me to care? No. I don't know. Do you know what? I thought you were my friend, but all the time. Do you think I like lying? Do you think I like watching people's lives get wrecked? I don't know, Jack. Do you? What are you going to do? Every phony tear, every slap on the back, every lie, every smile, every last stinking word, I'm going to get the lot and I'm going to force him down his gob till he chokes. Please, so you better get to him before I do, Jackie, and make him disappear for good, because I'm the judge and jury on this one. And I'm going to have him. A friendly face. Oh, yeah, heavy morning. Oh, I spent two hours trying to explain the mysteries of skeletal structure to some of your fellow freshmen. Yeah? Mm. Aren't you in the mood? No. Oh, my God. Why is my life such a disaster? Oh, they haven't. Oh, got it in one. What's happened now? Oh, it's over, once and for all. Oh, I'm sorry. That had to happen. We couldn't go on as we had been. Up and down, rowing all the time. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling. Yeah? Mm. Margaret. Yeah. You fancy a moon? Oh, that'd be nice. I just gotta check my pigeon hole. My office, five minutes. Okay, see you there. Let's <laughs> get <laughs> I don't know, they gave me this to fill in. All right, we can do it now if you want. Oh, I think I'll wait till we get home. It's taken me all day to get through this lot. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? I mean, how am I supposed to know what the lowest wage I'll accept is? Don't ask me. Well, say I put down £200. Do you think they'll ask me why I won't take a job that pays £199? You'd be lucky to get that sort of money around here. Really? So, it's, um... so basically, you end up working for nothing? I think that's the general idea. Oh, look at this godforsaken place. I'm sorry, the woman who helped me was very pleasant, but this is the stuff of nightmares. And there are three million people who'd agree with you. How, how, how on earth did I end up here? Stuck in a strange city. Homeless, penniless, hopeless. It's not that bad. You've still got David and Jean. OK, it's that bad. <laughs> but it can't get any worse, though, can it? Can't it? Come on, let's get out of here. So it's hanging gone for good, then? Yeah. Came home last night to an empty wardrobe and a scribble note. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sure it's for the best. That's what I'm supposed to say, isn't it? I wouldn't know. It never ceases to amaze me the way people who claim to be in love waste their energy ripping each other to shreds. Well, maybe she's just not the right one for you. Maybe. God, the voice of doom or what? What about you and Margaret? Trouble at Mill? Yeah. Well, your agony aunt's listening. Well, things just aren't working out how I expected them to. I mean, she's 
She's just got this massive down on herself, and I don't know why. What about? About me being at college. I think she thinks that I think she's thick or something. Run that by me again. <laughs> Sorry. Joke. Laughter is allowed even during confession. Sorry. Stop apologising. And there's another problem as well. What? She's jealous. Of your education? No. Of you. Me? Yeah, she's mad jealous. I think she thinks that... Me and you? <laughs> no such luck. Pardon? Nothing. Wishful thinking. Well, what do you mean? I don't know. In another life, perhaps, if there hadn't been a Margaret and a Helen. Um, what was I saying? Sorry. About Margaret. Oh, yeah. Um, well, that's it, really. I don't know what's going to happen. Look, um, I'd better get going. I've got a lecture to get to. I'm going to be late. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I've embarrassed you, haven't I? No. I didn't mean to come on strong. You didn't. I'll take it as a compliment. Well, it's only a compliment if it's something you wanted to hear. Fine. I'll let you go, then. Right. Beth. What? I've got a fridge full of meals for two at home, if you fancy chatting over one. I can't. OK. Mum's expecting me and she'll have already cooked something. Fine. See you then. My darling, I didn't expect you today. No, well, I finished most of my work yesterday. Thought we'd surprise you. Well, you have. Where's the lad? Oh, he crashed out the instant his seatbelt was fastened, poor lamb. <laughs> How's he been? Fine. We're all fine. Blooming, in fact. Right, well, look, I'll just get this lot in and, and we'll have a little drink, eh? Oh, that sounds great. We'll just get Thomas settled in bed. Good. Well, I'll see you in a moment. <laughs> well, looks like the builders have done a good job to the house. Hmm, no more cracks. Nope. No more cracks anywhere. Welcome home, Mrs. Farnham. Shane? Hang on a minute, mate. All right, Ron. Yeah, there will be once I've had a word with Jimmy Corker. Well, you haven't seen him, have you? No, Barry Grant's looking for him at all. He hasn't seen him for work. Well, he knows what's good for him. Has he done a runner? Can't run forever, though, can he, eh? I suppose not. Yeah, well, that's for me to worry about. So, listen, what's the score with the appeal money? How do you mean? Well, you know, I've sorted with the Aussie. I thought we'd have a little presentation. Get the echo down and that. Sound? Yeah. I was going to ask Jimmy Corkle to present the cheque, but... Well, best doing it yourself, eh? How about you? Oh, no. Nah. Come on, you've done all the hard work. You might as well get your gob in the paper. Uh, no, no, I, I'm not into it, mate. No publicity, that's me, you know. Ah, fair dues. So you've drawn the money out, then, have you? Eh, nah. Well, I never thought you were doing it last week. Well, I was going to, but there's been a bit of a problem. A good one, like. Hey. Well, it's the interest. See, if we'd have drawn it out last week, we wouldn't have got the interest. So the building society was saying, anyway. All oh, right, yeah. They told us to hang on, only for a couple of days, you know. Well, means more money for the kids and, that, and every bit counts, doesn't it? True. So I'll uh, give you a shout when I've got my hands on it, eh? All right, now I'll have a word with the Aussie. Yeah, you do that. All right. Cheers, then. See you. I suppose I'll have to report back on the day's activities to Colonel Crosby. Just ignore him if he starts going on. Easier said than done. Isn't that Patricia's car? Ah, ladies, just in time. Just ignoring me. I love you too. Oh, you back? <laughs> Looks that way. <laughs> and to greet the return of the prodigal daughter and son-in-law, a bottle of something rather special. <laughs> After you. Hiya. 
Hello, how are you? Fine. Thank you. Right, let's get this welcome home party on the road, shall we? I'll get the glasses. So how was Oxford? A hard work, but it's been great, hasn't it? Yes, brilliant. And we've got something else to drink to as well. Thanks, ma'am. Sherry Penny? Sorry, what? Uh, no, um, you'll have to excuse me. Have you got eight? Fine, yeah. You got your shoes then? Uh, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Oh, very nice, yeah. Do you uh, fancy coming round tonight? Uh, yeah, it sounds. I thought it might be a good chance to spend some time with Kate. Yeah, yeah, there. Okay. Come in. Ah. I've been sent on a scouting mission to track you down. Well, here I am. I thought this might help. Thanks. Uh, Margaret said your trip to the DSS was a bit of an ordeal. <sighs> no different than for anybody else. No. No, you're right, Ben, but... For someone like yourself. David, please. No sermons. Sorry. Have you read these questions? Uh, no. Some of them are so personal. But you have to answer them, Ben. I mean, you've got to claim everything you're entitled to. And what's that? The chance to become just another statistic? No. The chance to stand on your own two feet. Courtesy of a dole check. Well, it's a start. I don't want to start. And I don't want any handouts. I just want my life back. Never a dull moment, eh? No. The late Clive Crosby has a lot to answer for. So what's this other thing we've got to drink to, then? You want to spill the beans? No, we'll wait for Dad. Oh, well, what's happened? Everything all right? Penny's just having a lie down. I think the day's exertions have taken their toll. Anyway, uh... Let's just concentrate on having the three of you home again, shall we? Four. Four? Four. Four. I'm nearly three months pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what is it you want me to say to Katie, exactly? Well, it's not so much what you say as uh, what you do. How do you mean? Well, I just want you to be there, with her. What do you mean, with her? Well, you know. Physically. Yeah, and it... How do you mean, physically? <laughs> I mean it exactly how it sounds. I want you two to be together. Hey, I think that's what Kate needs. What, me? But you two... Well, I thought you were on together. <laughs> we're very close, but... I don't believe in conventional relationships. That's something the outside world forces upon people. To keep them boxed in, under control. In our group, we all belong to each other. It just depends who needs what at any particular time. And you reckon Katie needs me? I know it. Yeah, but she's only a kid, isn't she? She's a young woman, and she needs you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I want you two to get as close as you can, as quick as you can. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you, Terry? I want you to sleep with her. Any thoughts on names yet? I have to consult with the powers that be on that one. I've always rather liked David myself. I'll just ignore him. We'll see. Glad to be back. Yeah, you. Ooh, glad to be home. Not looking forward to work, though. No, I could get used to being a house husband. Oh, could you now? And running this place would be like managing a hotel at the moment. Mm. All right, three bedrooms, and how many people? There's me, you, Thomas, Penny, Margaret, and, uh... Mini Max. Ah, no child of mine's being saddled with a name like Max. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, what about the lodger problem? I don't know. Well, someone's going to have to go.
Things are getting a bit cramped with the two of us staying here, aren't they? Understatement of the century. I expect one of us will be looking for a cardboard box soon. Oh, hi. Hi. You two are up bright and early. Oh, well, you know, lots to do. There's coffee in the park. Okay. Come on, sit down. I've made you some breakfast. Oh, very nice. Well, I'd already made Patricia's breakfast. I thought that was for you. Well, I won't be able to eat two. Thanks, Ben. That's delicious. Oh, well, I'd only done your usual. I'll just pour the muesli back in the jar, eh? Yeah, better had. I could have managed some of your coffee, though. Hey, I was going to bring it up to you and Ben. There you go, there's your paper. I'm just going upstairs to get dressed. Would you like me to run your bath for you? Ah, uh, thanks. I won't have time. Oh, you could send Thomas down, though. I'll take him to school if you want. Thanks, but there's no way I'm letting anyone else have the pleasure of taking my son to his first day at school. By the way, this dinner party you're having on Wednesday. You don't mind, do you? Being clients only. Oh, no, of course not. Um, I was going to offer to help with the cookie if you want. I mean, I don't want to get in the way or anything. Yeah, lovely. I could get any shopping you want during the day. Great. And um, I'll look after Thomas at night if you want, take him next door. I don't mind looking after him. After all his kindness. I'm overwhelmed, but honestly, Thomas will be fine here. In bed asleep, hopefully. How's the melon? Um, perfect. Good. Good. Coffee all right? Yes, and the newspaper and the toast, everything. Never been so spoiled. Well, we're just trying to help around the place, you know. I'll go and get Thomas ready. Milk thought to get it from here, say, facing Ron. He hasn't noticed us, has he? I think he's too wound up about Jimmy Corkill to bother with us. <sighs> that was terrible, that. I couldn't believe what was happening. I couldn't believe Ron didn't kill Jimmy there and then. You don't think what Jimmy said was true, do you? <sighs> I hope not. He's gone on the run, though, hasn't he? His missus came round this morning to say he disappeared. Oh, Ron's coming across. All right, just act normal. He might be on his way through to the close. Yeah, but what are we going to tell him if he asks about the Tony Fund? Well, we can't say it's missing, can we? Yeah, but you'll know we're lying. <sighs> All right, well, mate. How's it going? Uh, can't sit around crying all day, can you, eh? Just been on the crash and carry, stuck up on my Easter eggs. Oh, Easter egg time already, is it? <laughs> Two rides, I'll be looking at fireworks soon. <sighs> well, I'm going to go and get my milk. I'll be open myself in a minute, love. Oh, too late, Ron, I think you've lost a customer. Do you want me to come round later? Yeah, I'll see you then. Right. Okay. <sighs> is there any word on the cash from the Tony Fund? Yeah, they're still going through all the paperwork and that, you know. That's taking some time, isn't it? I know you think it was their money, not ours. They said it was some sort of safeguard against fraud or something. You know? Well, let's know as soon as it comes through, eh? So I can confirm the presentation with the children's ward. Yeah, we will do, yeah. Look, sir, I've arranged it for Friday, mate, so it'll have to be sorted by then, OK? Eh, uh, right, I'll put it on the top of my list. Cheers, mate. Come on, then. And see what school's like. I'm ever so glad we didn't start him last term in Oxford. It would have been very unsettling to change schools. In your pup. Have a lovely day and be good for your teacher. I bet it feels good to be home. Oh, certainly does. Means I can start planning ahead for this one now. I only hope that Thomas settles into school better than Max is settling back into work. I practically had to push him out of bed this morning. He just couldn't face going in. Thomas is very excited. Yeah, I know. It's sad, really. It's not my little baby anymore. Mm -hmm. You've only got Max to look after now. Yeah, Max, he'll never grow up. <laughs> right, I should just about manage to finish the vacuum before Patricia gets back. I'm always going to do that. Come on, Right, well, um, I'll get on with some of Patricia's ironing then. Right, sir. Oh, scarving again as usual. Nah, I'm just on my way to see Barry. I'm a bit strapped for cash. I was going to tap him for a loan. What do you reckon my chances are? A big fat zero. Yeah. Tell you what, if he does come across, how do you fancy me and you going off for a few ales? Eh, uh, well, eh, uh, I don't do much drinking these days. <laughs> I've got uh, better things to do with my time. Well, better than getting bladded? Like what? I uh, like being with friends, you know, talking about things, uh, life, stuff like that. And, well, you know, we sort of play makes things better. You are kidding me, aren't you? No. You've joined the God Squad. Well, I'm just looking at things from a different angle, that's all. Yeah, well, you're always one of the lads, weren't you? How come you suddenly sprouting wings and growing at Halo? I'm not. It's just the way things have turned out for me, isn't it? Well, you know, when you've had a few knocks in your life, you, well, you need something to keep you going, and that's what this is doing for me. Well, fair enough. You're not going to apply to be the next Pope, are you? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just getting involved with a few friends who are into religion, that's all. It's good for you. You should try it. No, thanks. Tell you what, though. Give us a shout if they can turn water into wine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, have you had a chance to talk to Kate yet? Eh, uh, no, not yet. You've not forgot, have you? No, it was just, eh, uh, I was building up to it. She needs you, you know. I think she's in work this morning. I saw her go into the flower shop. Well, why don't you go over there and see her? Jackie will be all right here on her own. Yeah, well, I'll just finish doing the stock orders first. All right. Well, I'll shoot over now, then, and keep her company till you get there. Look, eh... Uh, I don't know how to say this. Are you sure you want me to sleep with Katie? It's not me who wants you to do it. It's Jesus. I'll see you in a minute. Jimmy sent you, has he? I haven't seen him since the funeral. He's disappeared. I know where he is. He's hiding from me. Mom, I know what he's done's wrong, but he's my husband. Could be dead in the river for all I know. He was driving while he was drugged up to the eyeballs, Jackie. He might as well have been pointing a gun at the lad. And if he is dead in the river somewhere, it's the best thing that could happen to him. I never come round, I'm sorry. Better let me notice him while I'm here. Why? Just listening to you. He won't want me working here. Jackie, I haven't got any fight with you, love. And you're much too good to lose. Jimmy might never have known it, but I do. I'm going to be desperate for the cash. I'm going to be on my own. Yeah, well, you just get yourself sorted. Your job's here when you need it. Where do you think you might be, Ron? I don't know, love. Hiding up in some druggies' den somewhere, I'll bet. Terry said he might pop over to see you in a bit. Oh, right. Why? Because he likes you. Me? Yeah, you know. After the way you welcomed him into the group. Yeah, it's one fifty, please. Thanks. Well, he hasn't said anything. But he's shy, isn't he? He needs help to come out of himself. You're good at that sort of thing. Am I? Yeah, what did I tell you? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, did you want some flowers or something? Uh, no, uh, I just thought I'd come over and see how you were, you know. Hey, listen, I've got some things to pick up at the house. I'll see you both later, all right? Well, you can stay if you like. Uh, I can make us all a coffee. No, I'm fine, honest. It'll give you two a chance to get to know each other better, won't it? There you go. I'll put the kettle on, then. You and Simon used to have something going, didn't you? Sort of. Is it over now? Not properly. Um, Simon said you wanted to ask me something. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it was not much, really. It was just whether, you know, uh, you thought we should send some flowers for Tony's grave, you know, from the group. Simon said that? You never even wanted me to go to the funeral? Yeah, well, it's hard to know why he does some things sometimes, isn't it? I was just, uh, I never meant this. I never meant anything like this. You're sleeping rough. I haven't slept a minute. How long is it since you've had some injuries? I don't know. I went to the police after the funeral and I told them. Told them what? I said it was all my fault. I told them I wanted arresting and locking up for life. I told them what I'd done, and I can't believe it. They wrote down what I said, and then they just let me go. I, they said they'd be in touch if they were going to press charges. And that was it. They just let me go, and I told them. Why didn't you go straight to the police after the accident? I was off the head, drugged. Drugged up on all kinds. Of, thought it'd get better. 
I was like you. I wanted him to go to Lourdes. I wanted a miracle. It'll kill you now. I can't tell you how sorry I am. I never meant any harm. Tony. He was always the first to help anyone. I'm sorry you found me here. Things are bad enough for you without... without me in your way. I'll get off. Where? From back alley? Drugged up or drunk? I, I, I'm sorry, I can't handle this. Jimmy, you need to get warm. You need some food inside here. I want you to come home to our house. I couldn't. I want you to. Why? Tony would be the first to help anyone who needed it. It'd be what he wanted me to do. To give you this back. There's no way I can sleep with Katie. Uh, why don't you come inside, eh? We'll talk it through. She's just a kid. She's 17. Yeah, and I'm old enough to be her old fella. She's a woman now. That's not the way I see it. I've known her since she was this. I. It'd be like raping a kid if I went to bed with her. Hey, I don't want to push you into something you're worried about. Yeah, well, I'll give you your Bible back. I just don't think I'm right for your group. I can understand that, mate. But you don't have to give us this back. It's a gift from God, not me. I tried to say to her what you wanted me to say to her. But I just couldn't get my head around it. It's difficult to understand, I know. Well, why do you have to ask me? Why do you get one of those who's more her own age to sleep with her? And why does anyone have to do it? Because it's hard knowing who I can trust sometimes. It's hard knowing who's been chosen to walk with me. But I've never doubted you, Terry. And I still don't. I didn't choose you. God did. Oh, I don't know what that means. To sleep with Katie. You're thinking about it as just sex. I'm talking about bodily love. Just sharing God's love, spreading his holy seed within our family. There's nothing dirty about it. We're celebrating God's love by loving each other. You know, like me and Caroline. Yeah, well, I think I know what you're getting at. We can't see me and Katie getting anything together. Well, don't worry about it. I'll talk to her. Right, uh, I'll get off, see if I can get my head down some of this side. Take this back, eh? It can help, can't it? You've come too far to drop it all now, Terry. How did Thomas get on? It was horrible. He wouldn't let go of me. Oh. The teacher had to drag him off me in the end, and he was crying his little heart out. I just wanted to bring him home. He'll survive. Yeah, I'm sure he will. His teacher seemed to take it all in her stride. My, you two look busy. Well, you know what it's like for us dolites. Got to find some way of filling the long empty days. I'm keeping myself busy after my miserable failure to find a job last week. I'm determined not to turn into a daytime TV addict. There's tea in the pot, and I've finished dining most of Thomas's stuff. Oh, and I found a couple of his toys under the sofa while I was vacuuming. I thought I'd do the dusting after this. I'm not sure I can cope with all this. We'll be working out a rotor for cleaning the toilet next. Pen is already cleaning the toilet. <coughs> you know, there's no need to do quite so much cleaning. I don't mind, honestly. Well, neither do I. If I didn't know better, I'd think you two were trying to impress me for some reason. No, no, we're just... We're just showing our appreciation for you letting us stay here, that's all. Isn't it, Penny? Oh, yes, absolutely. Much appreciation. What are we going to do about this Tony friend? You should just go to the police and get Roy Williams done for robbing us. I gave it to him. He threatened you. Look, if we get the police, he'll tell them loads of lies and they'll end up all over us. We're not going to get the money legally by the end of the week. Two grand. Well, we might if we have more time. The presentation's Friday. I'm sorry, it's just getting to me, that's all. Well, maybe we should have just gone to London and left the whole mess behind us. <sighs> Left me to face it, you mean? No, I did ask you to come. Why, though? I just wanted us to be together because I knew I'd miss you if you weren't there. Miss me in what way? Look, do we have to go into this now? I would just have missed you, OK? So what are we going to do? Did you try the man from the club? Barry, can't find him. Do you think he'd lend it to you? I doubt it, 
Well, I'll still ask him. We've got no other choice, have we? It's weird not having our tone here. Yeah, it's going to take some getting used to. You still love playing this one, you know? You can complete it. Has Mum said anything about what they're going to do about some of these things? No, not yet. There's still loads of stuff up in this room. I hope they don't decide to turn him into some kind of shrine too. Hiya. Ron's not here, is he? I'll sort Ron out. Come on. What are you doing here? I've asked him to come because he's sick. Mum, after what he did? Come through and I'll put the kettle on. Not for him. He hasn't eaten for days. No chance. Listen, I shouldn't have come. Jimmy, just go through to the kitchen, will you? Get out, Corky. Michael! For the sake of our Tony's memory, I don't want anyone else hurt. Now go through, will you? After what he's done. I don't know, love. I honestly don't know. I just know it's the right thing to do. Where's Penny? Having a bath. Finally given up on playing upstairs, downstairs. So, what's wrong with you? Didn't recognise you without a duster or a pot of coffee in your hand. Nothing. I'm just a bit fed up, that's all. Why, are you worried I'm going to throw you out on the streets instead of Penny? No. Well, yeah, but... No, I'm just a bit fed up about where my life's going, you know, with friends and that. Sounds deep. It's about me and Beth, really. You haven't fallen out over some boy, have you? Look, if I tell you something, do you promise to keep it to yourself? Cross my heart, I hope today. There's no one else I could tell this to, really. You're not pregnant, are you? <laughs> no. While you were away, me and Beth... Bess told me she fancied me. She kissed me. And? Well, I, mean, I don't think I'm a lesbian or anything. But I liked it. And we slept together. I mean, I, I haven't just stopped fancying lads all of a sudden. It, you won't tell anyone about this, will you? Also, and I mean, I know I've got dead strong feelings for Beth, but my head just kept saying, No, you can't, you know, she's a girl. Oh, and then I got even more confused when Derek came back for Tony's funeral. Just brought back all my old feelings for him. I suppose I'd just been blocking him out all along. So, where are things up to with Beth at the moment? We've fallen out. And you know, I miss her. Do you want me to do anything? No. No, I think I just needed to say it out loud to someone. That's what I know. Oh, sorry. No problem. I was just telling Margaret that we're not going to throw her out onto the streets. Oh, right. Of course, I'll, I'll, um, I'll get my things together as soon as possible. I'll find somewhere. No, I mean, you can both stay. So long as Margaret doesn't mind sharing with Thomas and you don't mind the small bedroom. No, that's very good of you. That's great, thanks. I was thinking of knocking up some salad and a risotto for supper. Oh, well, I was going to do some jacket potatoes and coleslaw. Girls, girls, having two willing slaves has been fun, but please, can we get back to normal? No more creeping. Besides, Max and I had already decided you could both stay. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. I brought some bread to make sandwiches for lunch. Have you eaten? Not yet. I've been praying for us. Why? Well, since last week, when you went to the funeral, even though I didn't want you to go, I've been praying for you to understand more about what it means to be part of our family. It was really important for Jackie that I went. I know that now. I should have asked you to bring Jackie back to us for comfort. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's to come. We should have talked about it. I need you to share things with me. And I need you to help me, not go against me. What do you need me to do? I need you to help me organise a party. What, like, 
Just a party? As a welcome for some new members. This week. I don't think we'll have enough. And I need you to forgive me. And to do as I ask. I've got to be back at the flower shop in half an hour. It's all right. I think we should bring your Jackie now. What's the number? Uh, two six nine three one five four. I've caused her enough grief. <laughs> Off without me. It's ringing. I can't, Dee. Oh, I've... I've let her down so bad, I just... I can't face her. I shouldn't even be here. Uh, I'm not letting you out on the street for another night. You can sleep on the sofa. Oh, what's me dad going to say? I'll speak to your father tomorrow. Now, get up those stairs and get washed. There's plenty of hot water. Are you sure? Go on. Up. Oh. 